becoming more and more evident on every level that we're undergoing this time of profound like disruption, you know, rapid change. If we look at the you know ecological you know evidence, you know, within a few decades we may be living in a very very different planet. Capitalism developed in a certain way uh, to support certain types of kind of masculine, you know, competitive, acquisitive, exploratory modes, you know, and and our power structures developed in a certain way, you know. So like, you know, in the U.S., like people who go to the Ivy Leagues, you know, they they master subjects, but they also master the art of succeeding within power structures, you know. So then, you know, establishment media, you know, these are like authoritative power structures, and people apply that same type of. Uh, sensibility they've developed to staying on top in those structures rather than being able to step back into a kind of systems design approach just like Buckminster Fuller advocated where we sort of let go of our biases and our establishment you know kind of constructs and rethink our relationship to the planet you know from, from the bottom up. We're going to realize that humanity is in a symbiotic relationship with the whole system of the earth. We're like a gigantic planetary superorganism, and an organism has organs and in a strange way, like you could ask yourself, what are the organs in the collective human body? And, and you m might say that corporations are the closest thing to those organs. So like a media company is like our eyes and ears that take in raw data and convert it into memes that then the whole system kind of operates uh, according to what it sees. And you know, an uh, energy company is like a blood or circulation system that puts, brings you know, energy, fuel to the, to the whole body. Sanitation company is like the liver or the kidney, which is like breaking down uh, waste matter or whatever. But the problem is that the corporations have been designed, they're like artificial life forms, and we created a game called the stock market, and we inject these life forms into that game system, and we say that the only way that they can survive and flourish is by you know, en enhancing financial profit and shareholder value. So since that's the prime directive we've given to our artificial life forms, that's of course what they do. Now to maximize purely financial value, you know, you have to see things like ecological health and human health as kind of meaningless externalities. So it's very natural for corporations then to evade environmental restrictions, to corrupt, uh, you know, governments and work with lobbyists and so on. They're kind of, we're kind of forcing to do that. By, by the logic that we've created. And also within a corporation, if that's its only directive to maximize financial value, it's automatically over time gonna self-select for sociopathic personality types. Because those are the people like the, you know, the CEO of British Petroleum who went yachting you know, three days after they despoiled the Gulf of Mexico. You know, that, that, that's, that's an autom automatic process of, you know, in, in this system. You know, so ultimately we're going to have to have an awakening where we realize we need to redesign the game that we've created so that it's not just about uh, financial profit, it's about biodiversity, the, the health of diverse local communities, because local communities, you know, local languages and cultures, that also adds to the resilience of a system. And uh, yeah, I think that we're going to have to come to that realization uh, rel relatively soon.